This is gonna be funny. So today we're going to cover some installation of the servos and in this particular case we're actually going to put them inside the stab which sometimes is kind of uh, difficult with aerobatic planes uh, just because of their location. Yep, yep. And you're going to show us the cool easy technique. Yep, for that. we're going to do a couple tips here. One is uh, how to get the servo in there. Uh, the other one is getting the grommets in and all that. So just a couple little, little things I've picked up. Uh, if you notice here on the stab you've got a slot in there for the servo. And getting servos in there can be a pain, especially with, you know, trying to reach, I mean, it, yeah, it's always in there. Yeah. So uh, over the years, I've tried different things. And one thing I've come up with is, you know, anybody who's been modeling for an amount of time has a bunch of these stock arms laying around. So I use that. So first we'll start out. We've got a JRS8911. Uh, JRDFA was really nice in donating to the Tucson Aerobatic Shootout last year. And I won these servos as part of the of my pilot's prize. Um, one thing, I, you know, a little PSA here, guys, is if you see a company like JR, like Desert Aircraft, like any of the other companies out there, Northwest RC, supporting events for RC, uh, make sure you're supporting them yeah. because they put out, you know, I mean, this was $2,800 worth of receiver or radio and servos. It was a full package and that's a lot for them. So then they're trying to get their name out. So try and support companies that support the hobby. It's a small hobby, small industry, so that, that goes a long way for them. So done with done with my soapbox, so we'll go ahead and we'll get the grommets installed. So straightforward here, the little ridge goes towards the inside, the rounded edge goes towards the out, outer corner, so it kind of mount, matches the shape of the mounting lugs there. If you could take a look at that. Right there. Yep, I'll do that on all four corners here. So we're going to go ahead and match it up. That is your job. Hey, you're a hand model now. Oop, I did a John. <laughs> Dang it. Or that, that was, was you. you. Jack. John, Anyways, <laughs> John did a John. John did a John. <laughs> okay, so once we've got all of our rubber grommets in there, mm, you've got said. these little eyelets. Uh, and what I do is I take a small, this is a 16th inch driver. Again, uh, I put the links in all our videos, but we haven't done a feature on these. These MIP drivers are by far the best drivers on the market. I think uh, I've got one that's 25 years old now, and it's a ball driver, and it's still in perfect shape. So, I love these things. So, <laughs> anyway, I keep them quiet. Stop, John. I'm keeping quiet. So then we just use this to push them in, so it kind of saves your fingers. One after another, so you rapid fire. Exactly. And that's about as easy as you'll get as far as installing these dumb things. Yeah. I mean, these wonderful little eyelets. And again, uh, this is your first time. You should know that uh, the brass goes facing down, the yep. rim goes facing down because that prevents it from crushing into the wood. Yep, that and also when you put the, the screw in with the head, it has a flat head. It's not on that ridge. It's actually compressing on the rubber, which gives it the vibration Oops, dampening yep. that's designed for. So now we've got that on. We're going to go ahead and remove our servo screw which apparently JR tightens them down pretty good from the factory so we'll get a little snap there we'll pull it out then we're going to take our arm here and we're going to take a pair of diagonal cutters and we're going to try not to shoot this all over the shop and hurt our camera person right in the trash that can. was impressive it <laughs> yes. bounced off the plane right but yeah the plane it was pretty, let's pretty see if impressive. i can do that again i can't do it i guarantee don't you. hit the plane oh, oh, oh my oh, god we need a video today. we need a video i hope this camera got video of that because <laughs> that, that was pretty awesome. awesome so what i do is i the little things we get happy about <laughs> and you know, know that was pretty cool uh anyway so i put this arm on dose that was amazing i know right uh, put the screw back in to secure it. Doesn't have to be super tight because obviously this arm is no good for us now. Uh, this is another one of those tools you can set aside for later or pick an arm you're not using in the kit. So then if we look inside here, the wire goes towards the front. So when we take our long nose pliers, we grab the arm. This way we're not damaging the servo. I see. Let's see what Feed it in. And then sure we get our wire lined up. This is always the fun part right here. Yep. Oh, and then it slides off. And you're going to do this like 40, 50 times before you Maybe. get in there. Yeah, you got to you gotta make sure you're We'll do it. editing so that you don't... Editing, what is that? Stuff. So then you go ahead and you feed the yeah, server see, what in here. Who's do? It's not all over every time. And what they don't know is that this took like 48 times, which they'll see at the end, all the, all the outtakes. Hopefully. If they stick around that long. If we can get her in there. There we go. We got our start now. Getting close. Maybe. Like maybe, 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 maybe. Now we got lined up. We kind of wiggled in there, and now our 
servo is installed. There you go. Hardly any editing at all is going to be involved yeah, in that. Sounds pretty good, huh? So there you go. Now we're, we're pushed down in. You see our servos in there. And then all you do is use your driver, pull your arm off, put your, your regular arm in. I'm going to use some uh, clamping arms from, I believe they're from JR. I got to double check. I have some from DA as well. Uh, and then you can use the hole that's here that lines up to tighten that down and your servo's in. So that's just a, a quick tip that I picked up over the years. Um, makes your life a little easier. It doesn't scratch up the servo. I used to try and grab the outside edges of the case and work the and servo stuff. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Try and get lucky when pushing it and it just, yeah, it doesn't work. So. Plus it looked really cool the way you got two of those in the trash can. Yeah, I know. Hey, pretty nice. that was a bonus, that I think. So. so yeah, so there you go. That's uh, getting the servos into the stabs. That, like I said, that's something people ask me about quite often when I go out of plane that has the servos mounted like this. We'll go over what to do with the threads on the servos when installing. Um, the one nice thing on the extreme flight planes especially is they have the holes for the screws already drilled into that rib. But uh, when we're working on the, probably on the wings, we'll go ahead where we can get a little better video of what we do as far as putting the CA on and, and drill on and all that stuff. So. All right, so excellent. So there you have it. You have a, a quick uh, tip there on how to get the servos inside this small compartment, uh, which is sometimes rough and takes you a while to do, especially if it's the first time. So just follow these steps and uh, you'll be like a pro.